The way a component's geometry is machined affects both the duration of the cycle and the quality of the surface finish. These factors can either increase or decrease the total cycle time, which directly influences the cost of the component and your profit margins. Geometry that is planar or has a single curvature can be efficiently machined to a quality surface finish using the flat bottom or the side edge of a cutting tool. But geometry that is doubly curved or organic in shape needs to be machined in a different manner. This is typically done with a spherical tip cutting tool such as a ball and mill, stepping across the geometry to match its contours. After each step over, a small ridge of material is left on the surface, which is influenced by the tool's radius and the step over distance. The smaller the cusp, the better the finish. But as a result, machining times are increased. Autodesk Fusion's multi-axis finishing strategy reduces cycle times while maintaining surface quality with its ability to utilize circle segment cutters. Circle segment cutters such as lens, barrel, taper, and oval tools have large radiuses which are integrated into their complex cutting geometries. This allows for many benefits as larger step overs can be used during machining as compared to a ball and mill decreasing the overall cycle time while maintaining the small cusp needed to create a high quality surface finish. The multi-axis finishing strategy utilizes this type of tooling for the machining of shallow angle geometry which is defined as a floor and steep geometry that is defined as a wall. Lens type tools lend themselves to be useful when machining floor geometry as the radius is located on the tip of the tool. In the strategy, the faces to be machined are defined and a toolpath offset type is selected which can be automatically created, a manual selection, or the longest edge. Barrel, taper, and oval tools can be very useful for wall geometry, as the tool geometry creates a large radius on the side of the cutter, allowing for an increased step down, down the surface. The definition of the floor and wall surfaces are selected, which defines the correct area to be machined and its limits. There are two options for the toolpath pattern to meet your desired needs, the first being scallop, and the other a blend from the top to bottom. Circle segment tools can increase the step over distance, but to do it correctly, these tools have to be positioned at the correct angle so that the large radius profile contacts the surface during machining, making tool axis crucial to maintain the correct angle of the tool. Multi-axis options can be set automatically to tilt the tool during the multi-axis movements, or be user-defined, which allows the user to specify a unique lead angle of the tool and additionally allows the user to manually control the minimum and maximum contact points of the tool to be used when machining the surface. The combination of Fusion's multi-axis finishing toolpath strategy and circle segment tools allow you to decrease your cycle times and increase your profits while maintaining the high quality surface finish you desire when machining complex part geometries.